you know, outside of the small gesture of your partner asking you to make them a cup of tea or your friend asking you to pass them, I don't know, a, a condiment or whatever, you know, to me, a lot of things in life can be quite transactional. You don't give to receive. And that's a life lesson I learned very early on in life. But you can offer to receive. You can kind of head off the what's in it for me question by saying, if you help me with this report, I'll put your name on it and it looks good for you at your next appraisal. Bam. Yeah, I've got a spare half hour. Joe, of course I can help you with your report. Not a problem. If it's suddenly, can you just help me with this report? And they say, why? Uh, and they go, well, because I need help. Then suddenly that becomes a bit more standoffish. Sometimes I feel like on a slightly bigger gesture or on a slightly bigger request, offering to receive, you make an offer to receive help back, it gives you a higher chance of success in terms of getting that support. And that, things don't always have to be transactional, of course. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the be-all and end-all, but... I think a lot of interactions become that way without us realizing as people. So I think it's always important that if you are seeking the help of other people that you try not to be, and I think selfish is a really strong word for this, but you try not to be selfish and just say, well, I need the help and try and think of a reason that this person's help will benefit you and them because that's how you're likely to, to increase the chance of them saying yes. <laughs>